WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial trading down 14, as except 51. S&P's up four and a half. Gold, gold contract up ten dollars ninety cents, trading at eighteen eighty six an ounce. We have silver up twenty two cents, twenty two dollars seventeen cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down two dollars fourteen cents, eighty three dollars eighty three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten year note up seven ticks, trading one oh seven thirty. The thirty year up a full point plus ten ticks. At 113.12 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down nine ticks, trading 105.815. Euro at 106. Yen trading at 149. British pound at 123 to 1 US dollar. Let's get over. We're going to look at the dollar first. So check it out because the dollar is still running the market here, folks. Okay. Now, this is what we did the dollar is broken its uptrend. And when you break an uptrend like this, folks, okay, this uptrend was going on since July 14th. So it was a heck of an uptrend, man. I mean, in a, in a monster way. Now, what you what can expect on the way back? Well, it's going to be the breakout area, and the breakout area is 104.699. So we're at 105.87, 807. So you can expect this first leg down is going to be right into that 104.699. Now, what that does, of course, that's going to give the market more breathing room, period. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. We're going to take a look at the SPY. What do we take a look at the SPY is that, you know, you've been oscillating around now today and that the dollar has been going up and down. That's where the oscillation comes from. That being said, you already had the SPY reject 433 this morning. Now we're at 435.12. This thing is building cause to really get, you know, you're in the upper range right now. And we did this morning is that we came down. We tested that lower range again. OK, that's the 433. Oh, one, we went to 433.18, and guess what? The spy said, see ya, don't want to be ya. So that's telling me that you're going to probably see another sign of strength in the next couple days. We take a look at the Qs. What do you have with the Qs? Same type of setup inside the Qs, except the Qs have been running things. The Qs uh, right now, sideways move really up at buck 43, but a sideways move. But the Qs are up just about approaching their last uh, swing high. They're only 10 points away from it right now. You're at 370, 380 is the number. If you go into the note and bond market, and this is really crucial because you had the Fed minutes coming out at 2 o'clock. I'll go over those. But even when the Fed minutes come out, the bottom line is that the bond market continue to say, I want higher price, lower yield. And that's guess what? That's where we're going. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.